Now, doctor, it is the ito cells which are the important cells of the liver which will be responsible for that uh, collagen deposition whenever the injury to the liver occur is what need to be remembered. They are typically pre-sinusoidal, frequent in zone 3, they have fat vacuoles and uh, they are also responsible for the vitamin A storage and uh, they secrete the collagen and responsible for the pathophysiology of the cirrhosis of the liver is what need to be remembered. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea after eating fried rice in a Chinese restaurant, bachelor serious is what need to be remembered. Septate hyphae, classical of aspergillus, enterococcus is group D, influenza is a single stranded RNA, and uh, pneumococcus, what are the important features of pneumococcus? Classical, traditional question. First, inulin fermentation. Pneumococcus ferments inulin. Its brother, Streptococcus pyogenes, does not. Bile solubility. Pneumococcus is soluble in bile. Optochin, sensitive to optochin. Catalase, both catalase and oxidase negative is the pneumococcus. So these things, microbiology made ridiculously easy or simple or uh, whatever. You need to remember uh, these facts. Now give me an answer doctor. What is this organism? Cell wall is unusual that it lacks muramic acid in this. It cannot make its own food, ATP. It is an obligate intracellular organism. Every time it goes to the next door uh, roommate and eats his food. It has elementary body, reticulate body and we use azithromycin. Chlamydia. Everybody shouting out the answer. Dr. Dilip, Dr. Shiva, Anuja, Karnul, everybody. That's good. Chlamydia is what need to be remembered. So you need to have some flashcards. Always to spice up uh, the preparation in this last 30-40 uh, days, doctor. Obligate intracellular is everything except mycoplasma. How many thought mycoplasma is also obligate intracellular? Mycoplasma is the smallest free-living bachelor. Without shadi, bachche, school me drop karna, fees bharti karna, wo sab nahi hai. And uh, unless it is a um, cellular medium, on a cell free medium it can't grow. Uh, I mean generally obligate intracellular parasites, but mycoplasma can. Whereas rickets CA, they also do not grow in the cell free medium is what need to be remembered. If you want to grow anaerobic organism, what is the best way? Most reliable is Macintosh Fildes anaerobic jar is what need to be remembered. Smith Nagauchi's medium, little Japanese we should learn for need PG. Loffler's is Coronibacterium, Robertson cooked meat medium is typical of Clostridium like organism. Smith Noguchi is for the spirochetes which are anaerobic organisms. In flash process, how much heat do you use, doctor? 72 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Holder method, 63 degrees for 30 minutes. Useless information. How much time the cooker should be on for the rice to get cooked is more useful information to survive after MD. So, now coming to lactose, fermenters, non-fermenters. You must know the difference, doctor. Salmonella, Shigella are both twin sisters, we told, no? Because they both don't know how to eat sugar. So they are uh, non-lactose because they do dieting. Then Ischeria clebiciella. They both are lactose fermenters. And you have some late lactose fermenters. You must know this classification. Now, group A, Streptococci, Erysipelas and Impetigo is what need to be remembered. Now, what are halophilic, non-halophilic vibrios? 
Mollificus, alginolyticus, and parahemolyticus, they are all sea loving, beach living, uh, halophilic uh, organisms basically. Now, coming to the typhus, we use the Wheel Felix reaction. Then, uh, cuneiform pattern, very typical of Coronibacterium. So, you all know Streptococcus staphylococci are chains. Meningococci are paves, coronary bacterium are Chinese pattern, is what need to be remembered. Then, uh, surface of the B lymphocytes, how can you be able to identify? It is the immunoglobulin G which will help you to basically identify the surface. Give me one, shoot me back an answer, doctor. Which is the organism responsible for a typical walking pneumonia? X-ray de ke to rone lagta. Magar admi ko de ke to hasne lagta. A happy man walking with a crying X-ray. Where do you see? That's right. We get an answer uniformly from everybody as mycoplasma. That's right. Mycoplasma pneumonia. Eaten cigar. Since it doesn't have cell wall, it doesn't stain with gram stain. And you treat it with not the cell wall synthesis inhibitors, but with tetracycline and erythromycin, which are the main part of the treatment, is what need to be remembered. Ultimately, examination is all these single liners and uh, hot shots. First time, surprise. Second time, ah. Third time, routine. So, it's a question of uh, you becoming routine with this high yield topics. That's the idea of the next 40 days. Now, doctor, there is a decreased salivation. You want to increase it. What will you do? Cholinomimetic. Somebody has increased salivation due to OP poisoning. You want to decrease and dry out atropine. So, that's the reason we also use it in pre anesthetic medication. Acute heart failure, dobutamine, on any given day will increase the cardiac output and one of the wonderful drugs. Why we don't use epinephrine, everything I leave for you to review in the literature. Now coming to ED50, effective dose um, uh, at which 50% of the efficacy is achieved. If you use a competitive antagonist, that dose at which effectiveness is achieved 50% is need to be increased. So you must know the difference between efficacy and potency. Potency means even with little reading, you got the best rank, you are potent. Right? And uh, even with uh, little reading, you read a lot of things, then you are efficacious. So be very sure. Being efficacious is not always required. Ultimately, what is checked? Potency is checked. What is your ultimate rank? Jo Jita, Aapka number kya aya? is all that is required at the end of the game. How you read, how much you read, you did not read a lot of things, still got top 100 in neat PG, yeah, then that's a, a good score. Now, 75 year old smoker, COPD, what is the cause of bronchoconstriction COPD people? It is excess vagomimetic activity, not decreased sympathomimetic activity, excess vagomimetic activity, hence we use Vagolytic agent, atropine congener, ipratropium bromide is the drug of choice to treat the bronchospasm of COPD is what need to be remembered. <clears throat> now, epinephrine, not epinephrine, isoprenaline. What are the differences between them when it comes to alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2 receptors? You must be very sure. Which is more selective to what and what happens with what? So, doctor, it is the epinephrine which has this kind of a nature. Now, levodopa, you don't want side effects peripherally, add it with carbidopa, is considered to be the best way to treat. Metoprolol is a wonderful drug that you can give in order to control that compensatory rise of the heart rate which occur in the congestive heart failure patients. Metoprolol is a wonderful drug, which is a beta 1 selective antagonist. Then, uh, how does, uh, um, what is the main problem if you give anti-hyperlipidemic drugs? 
Most of them lead to GIT disturbances, which is the main uh, side effect. Pyoglitazone. Why do you want to give pyoglitazone to any patient? Suppose if his uh, secretor gox, what are secretor gox? Sulfonyl ureas, everything. In spite of using high doses, still sugars are not getting controlled, means there is some level of resistance. To overcome that resistance, we add a little dose of PIOS, pyoglitazone. But pyoglitazone in lot of studies has been proven to have an effect of causing edema and cardiovascular instability. That's the reason who has a, any patient who has got a congestive heart failure, you need to be skeptic in order to administer pyoglitazones is what need to be remembered. So we have a lot of video on uh, endocrinology may diabetes, similarly pharmacology may anti-diabetic drugs in the video library. In the 250 MCQ based discussion library, you can review because diabetes is one topic I still remember studying 7-8 days that useless Harrison before entrance exam and not uh, finally answering simplest question in the exam hall. So, if you go to Harrison or any book, diabetes is 120 pages or 100 pages. Because every medicine book will try to start uh, teaching you starting from glucose metabolism. By the time you finish diabetes, out of next 40 days, 7 days is over. Then your uh, fasting sugars also will keep shooting. So don't do that mistake. We have discussed in crisply around 4 to 4 and a half hours pharmacology of diabetic drugs and diabetes in our video library. You can quickly review, it's a high yielding way of uh, getting it. Eh? Now, exenatide, what is exenatide does? This is another favorite question of the examiner. It is an analog of the GLP1. It will improve the insulin secretion, it will lower the postprandial hyperglycemia and it is very well tolerated. Now, coming to osteoporosis, how does glucocorticoids? lead to the development of osteoporosis. They decrease the mineralization of the bone matrix and absorption of the calcium, which is the underlying mechanism. Okay, doc. Give me an answer. Septate hyphae that branch at acute angle and they are not dimorphic. Which fungi they are? Aspergillus. Very good. That's right. Everyone says aspergillus except Dr. Kirti saying Actinomycetes, aspergillus fumigators. You have acute angle less than 45 degrees and septate hyphae that branch uh, at acute angles and uh, they corridor force with the tufting bodies. Another important feature of aspergillus.